Suppose you have vectors in R2 where the addition operation has been redefined so that for any two vectors in R2, the sum is shown below. Or notice for the sum, the first entry is A plus D, and the second entry is B plus C. Scalar multiplication is defined the usual way. We want to determine if this is a vector space. Let's look at a few key axioms. A, does this contain the zero vector element such that vector U plus a zero vector equals vector U? Well, let's let vector U have components U sub one and U sub two plus a zero vector, which should be the two by one matrix where both entries are zero. And now let's check the sum under the new definition of addition. The first entry of the sum is u sub one plus zero, which is still u sub one. And the second entry is u sub two plus zero, which is still u sub two. So we have satisfied the axiom that vector u plus a zero vector equals vector u, and therefore the set does contain the zero vector. For part b, given vectors u and v is the sum of vectors u and v in R2. So vector u has components u sub one, u sub two, plus vector v, which has components v sub one and v sub two. And now again we apply the new definition of vector addition, where the first entry is u sub one plus v sub two, and the second entry is u sub two plus v sub one. The sum is a vector with two components, and therefore the sum is in R2. The answer is yes, the sum is in R2. And then for part C, given vectors U and V are in R2, is vector U plus vector V equal vector V plus vector U. Well, we just found above vector U plus vector V. We just now need to check vector v plus vector u gives the same result. The first entry is going to be v sub one plus u sub two. And the second entry is v sub two plus u sub one. And now comparing the sums, notice u sub one plus v sub two does not equal v sub one plus u sub two, and u sub two plus v sub one does not equal v sub two plus u sub one. The sums are not the same, and therefore the axiom fails, the answer is no. And since the axiom fails, we do not have a vector space under the new definition of vector addition. I hope you found this helpful.